Good morning, this is Marcus Brown bringing you today's market update. We start in the US where newly elected President Donald Trump is facing further corporate backlash against his ban on Muslim country migrants. Leaders of America's largest investment banks broke their silence, whilst in London, WPP boss Sir Martin Sorrell also aired his concerns for Trump's immigrant policy. Head of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, has stated that his firm would employ some 10,000 refugees over the next five years, whilst Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein made it clear to his employees that Trump's policies were not supported by the company. JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley also voiced their opposition to the immigration ban. World-renowned South African restaurant Nando's is said to be considering an initial public offering. According to Bloomberg, the hugely successful restaurant chain is said to be in the process of talking to advisors and planning a share sale on the London Stock Exchange, yet the company have denied the rumours. In other news, Danish drug-producing giant Novo Nordisk has defied the post-Brexit gloom and decided to go ahead with a £115 million investment into an Oxford research facility. As one of the world's largest producers of diabetic-based drugs, it is hoped that the new research base will allow the university to discover a new way to treat type 2 diabetes, with the investment spread over 10 years. Vodafone has opened talks with rival Idea Cellular over a £10 billion merger of its Indian operations in a deal that would see the creation of the world's largest mobile phone firm. The combination of the two companies would create a subscription base of over 390 million people. The parent company of Snapchat, Snap, has highlighted its desire to float on the New York Stock Exchange for its much-anticipated IPO. Snap could file publicly for flotation as soon as this week, whilst actual flotation has the potential to take place as early as March. In corporate news, Ocado has announced a 14.8% increase in revenues in its full-year results. In upcoming data, 9.30 sees UK mortgage applications data released. Thank you for listening.